Hello, everyone. Um, good evening. I hope everyone is doing well. Let me just position this real quick. Um, we are back live. We're live here. Um, let me just take this off real quick. Okay. All right, can everyone hear me? All right. Okay, so I'm gonna be looking for your comments tonight. So make sure you're on, if you're on here, and we do have comments. Good evening. <clears throat> Good evening. Who, who, I'm super excited. Natalia, thanks. Good evening. Um, we are, we've had a great day. We've, um, we have been raising money for Gabriella Smile Foundation. We have um, lots of you that have already made donations and given to our cause and we appreciate that. Um, <clears throat> It's been a busy day, uh, busy social media wise. We really haven't done much, you know, per se, but we've been a lot, very busy on social media, interacting, reaching out to our supporters, our donors, um, and just to tell them how important today is uh, for our nonprofit and for really nonprofits all over San Antonio. So um, we appreciate you all logging on tonight and, um, and joining us here. So um, we... Um, we were planning a live broadcast. Uh, we weren't able to quite um, arrange the schedules for the live broadcast. However, um, our guests did record a special message for all of us and some, some songs for us. And um, I think it was really special how um, we have uh, Dejano award-winning singer, Crystal Torres reached out to us this week. She saw a um, post on social media she reached out to me, we started chatting. Um, we had actually several people reach out to us because we were looking for someone to help us with uh, reading um, Gabriella Smile, the book that um, our, our family uh, and together with our children wrote for in honor and memory of Gabriella. So we were looking for that. So um, one thing led to another, we had several people reach out. We have some guests coming up uh, next week as well that are gonna be joining us. And we're gonna do the book reading next week. So we were not able to do that um, for today, but uh, we're still thankful Crystal uh, amongst her busy schedule, uh, not to mention she's a mom, uh, was able to send us some uh, a special message and some songs that you would enjoy, beautiful voice. Um, we're so thankful. And so without further ado, we're just gonna share um, her, um, what, she, what she wanted to, uh, the words that she sent us and, um, and a little bit of her story and how we met, so. Hi, everybody. My name is Crystal Torres. I am a Tejano Music Award winning singer. I heard about Gabriela Smile uh, through one of my Facebook friends. Um, her son actually passed away from cancer a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Reagan Lee, uh, may he rest in peace. Um, I reached out to Isabel um, and offered, um, you know, uh, to sing for y'all um, and she gladly accepted. So I am honored to uh, be here with y'all tonight. Um, I know it's the Big Give SA um, tonight. So there's the opportunity um, to, uh, you know, donate um, to Gabriella Smile and help us fight uh, childhood cancer. So I'm gonna sing um, a couple of songs for y'all. I'm also a mom as well. So if you hear my kiddos in the background, um, mom life, what can I say? So Here's Carrie Underwood, I'll Stand By You. Oh, why you look so sad, the tears are in your eyes, come on and talk to me now, don't be a 
ashamed to cry. Let me sing it through. Cause I've seen the dark side too. When the night falls upon you and you don't know what to do, nothing you confess can make me love you less. I'll stand by you. I'll stand by you. I won't let nobody hurt you. I'll stand by you. So, if you're mad, get yeah, mad. Don't hold it all inside. Come on and talk to me now. Hey, what you got to hide? I get angry too. Well, I'm a lot like you when you stand. The crossroads and don't know which path to choose. Let me come along. Cause even if you're wrong, I'll stand by you. I'll stand by you. I won't let nobody hurt you. I'll stand by you. Take me in into your darkest hour. And I'll never desert you. I'll stand by you. beautiful song. Um, I love that song uh, by Carrie Underwood. Thank you so much, Crystal, for um, singing that for us. I think that um, even this comment, um, Natalia, thank you to Isabel for her amazing courage and relentless spirit. But really, um, the courage and relentless spirit that I get is from the support that we have in the community and from you all. So, so thank you. Thank you. Um, to everyone that's um, been there walking with us through this. Um, we always tell people we never imagined um, being here um, five years later running a nonprofit and, um, uh, you know, doing the things that we've done in these last five years. So thank you so much. Um, Crystal did share one more song with us and um, I really love the message that she shared at the end. So I'm gonna go without further ado, I'm gonna share this next song with you and hope that if you're going through something, whether it's personal, it's a personal loss, or it's just um, because of, of what's happening today, if you're feeling down, um, if you are feeling um, that um, you are in need of help, please reach out. Um, to someone we know the firsthand experience of, uh, you know, what it feels like losing someone that you love, a child. Um, some of you have lost a mother, a father, a husband. I know a dear friend of mine that recently lost her husband, Melissa, um, thinking of you tonight. Um, and um, so without further ado, I'm going to share this song. Um, I heard Crystal singing it and I loved it and I asked her if she would sing it tonight. So um, here you go. Um, so I had shared a video, um, of me singing, uh, Anyone by Demi Lovato, 
um, with Isabel and she really uh, liked it. And so um, I am going to uh, sing a little bit um, of that for y'all. to talk to my piano I tried to talk to my guitar talk to my imagination confided in to alcohol I tried and tried and tried some more told secrets to my voice were sore tired of empty conversation cause no one hears me anymore a hundred million Stories and a hundred million songs I feel stupid when I sing Nobody's listening to me Nobody's listening I talk to shooting stars but they always get it wrong I feel stupid when I pray So why am I praying anyway If nobody's listening Anyway Um, I get really emotional when I sing that song um, to anybody who is currently going through um, childhood cancer with their child, with their loved one. Um, I send my heart out to you guys. Um, thank you so much for letting me join you and sending you lots of love. Thank you. That was amazing. Thank you so much, Crystal. Um, we appreciate it. And um, as in the comments, you know, we were while we were listening to um, Crystal singing this last song, um, we were just thinking about everyone that um, maybe tonight is hurting for some reason or uh, whether it's because they've been personally affected by childhood cancer or uh, they've been affected by COVID or any other reason. Um, we just want you to know that we are listening and we're here. So um, thank you so much, Crystal. Um, that was beautiful. We um, appreciate you taking time out of your busy day. 
your busy mom life to uh, share these songs with us. Thank you so, so much. Um, that was just incredible. So um, back to Big Give. Let's see where we're at. Um, we are at, uh, we just passed the $8,000 mark. So that is incredible. We have $553 left um, of our match. So if we can get another five, $553, that will put us um, over 9,000, I think, if I'm doing the math correct. Um, so let's do it. We are 81% of the way um, through this. And uh, we still have, what, five, uh, four and a half hours left in the day. Um, so make sure that you get your donations in today. I think this is amazing. It's incredible. Um, I'm really excited. And, you know, um, on the Big Give Essay page, it says we've had 29 donors. Really, it's more than that because um, we have our strong partners. Uh, we have our friends that have donated um, through our, our, um, our website. Uh, we have friends that have donated on other fundraisers, uh, Big Give fundraisers. And, um, you know, just people sharing our posts today and just adding a donate button. Did you know that you could easily share this post on your Facebook page and it'll uh, Facebook will automatically prompt you and ask you if you want to add a donate button to it. So click that donate button, select the Braille Smile Foundation, and uh, you will help, um, you know, ask your friends to match your donation and just continue supporting our mission um, of helping families, uh, funding research and raising awareness for DIPG and pediatric cancer. Um, and I just wanted to take a minute to um, just share a little bit of our story. And um, if you visit, and let's put the website on there. Um, thank you, Crystal. Crystal says it was her sincere pleasure to, to do this for us, uh, blessing us with her voice. Thank you so much, Crystal. We appreciate it. And um, thank you for sharing those heartfelt words with us. Uh, we, we appreciate you. Um, very, very much. Thank you. Um, so we have, um, yeah, let's get, get the manner here. And well, we're going to go ahead and share the donate um, at the Big Give SA. Um, but here is our website. If you um, want to learn um, a little bit more, um, about, um, our, our nonprofit and, um, and who we are. Um, <clears throat> so, so visit stronger than DIPG and you will, um, find, a um, beautiful website that was designed for us, um, through, uh, last, last year, um, donated free to our nonprofit. They put together a beautiful website for us. So when you go to the website, um, first of all, what is stronger than DIPG? Well, our theme this, um, this September is stronger than cancer. And we believe kids are stronger than cancer. Um, stronger than DIPG is DIPG refers to the specific cancer that Gabriella had and that she passed away from. And uh, DIPG stands for diffuse intrinsic pontine glioma. It's a little bit of a mouthful, but basically it describes the tumor, uh, where it's at. It's in the brainstem. It's diffuse, meaning it's spread out, um, and it's intrinsic. It's intertwined with healthy brain cells. And so that is why it is terminal upon diagnosis. Um, if you, if your child is diagnosed with a DIPG or diffuse midline glioma, DMG, or, um, Brainstem glioma, they're all the same thing. Um, it is DIPG and um, it is terminal upon diagnosis. So um, so that is the cancer that Gabriella had. And so that is why our website is stronger than DIPG because we believe she was stronger than DIPG and we believe that we are stronger than DIPG. So um, again, we um, that is the kind of the purpose behind our foundation and, and what we do. Uh, we give families the support they need when facing a DIPG diagnosis. We also provide resources and support for families that have a child diagnosed with cancer by taking a holistic approach and help to help in all areas, mental and social factors affecting the entire family. Uh, we know, um, again, because we have been through this, we know that cancer affects the entire family, not just the child. 
And so that is um, the purpose of our nonprofit is to help the families in any way we can or we need to. And um, so uh, we do this through our programs and services. Some of the programs we have, um, our main program is Gabriella's Gifts. And that's kind of started um, just taking um, toys to the hospital. That was one of our first um, uh, uh, projects that we did through Gabriella's Gifts. And then it kind of just grew. We did, um, we've taken meals to the hospital. Um, I, I believe it was uh, the year before last we went um, on uh, Christmas Eve and delivered a meal for uh, patients in the oncology ward that were in the hospital. Uh, we also provide meal cards for families that are spending time in the hospital with their child. Uh, we provide gas cards, we provide um, HEB uh, grocery cards. Uh, we've also this year started providing emergency assistance where we give the family whether they need um, a $150 in assistance with either groceries, um, an HEB card, or we do um, uh, a check, you know, if they need the finances to fund some kind of uh, travel needs or something like that. Um, and so um, really the needs, whatever the needs are, that's, that's what we do. So um, we, during um, August, the month of August, we deliver backpacks filled with school supplies um, to the hospitals. Um, we've been able to deliver to University Methodist and um, Children's Hospital in San Antonio, which we affectionately call Gabriela's Hospital. Um, so we deliver those uh, to the hospitals. And um, so this year it's been a little different, obviously, because of COVID. We haven't been able to deliver items to the hospital, but we have been providing assistance to the families. Um, and and uh, we've been able to uh, provide that support. Today, thanks to you, uh, we'll have more funding so that we can approve some grants that have been waiting. Uh, we have, um, I believe, three or four families here in San Antonio that are waiting for support assistance. They all have children diagnosed with a brain tumor. And so we will be um, giving them uh, a $750 grant on behalf of the foundation. So um, thank you. Thank you so much. This is the work that you do um, when you, I always tell people, uh, you know, we see GoFundMe accounts online all the time. Um, it's easy to be moved by a story and um, make a donation on there. Sadly, there are individuals out there that will use other ch children's pictures. They'll use somebody else's story and they'll create a fake account and collect donations that way. And so um, when you give to Gabriela Smile Foundation, you know that that money, that donation that you're giving is going to uh, help families here in our community. So um, that is why I always tell people when you're going to give for a cause, make sure you find a good nonprofit, um, in the area that supports that cause so that you know that your money is going to, uh, help these families. So thank you again for donating. Um, we are, um, let's see, the, we are still at about 8,000. Um, so we want to be able to get to the next goal. So the next goal would be another $500. And that will be matched and will get us to 9,000. So we still have plenty of time. Uh, please share uh, this post with um, someone and um, your friends and just encourage them just a $10 donation, $20 donation, whatever they can give um, is, um, is helpful for us. So you can donate at thebiggivesa.org. And then just when you go to the, the main page, just look up Gabriela Smile Foundation and you'll find our page there. Uh, we'll also post it in the comments um, here in a bit, or if someone watching wants to post it for us, that would be great. Um, we're really excited. Uh, and I just want to say thank you to Crystal again for sharing that story. Um, if you noticed at the beginning, we did uh, share a picture of Reagan, um, who we lost a few weeks ago. And, um, you know, the story of Reagan just really hit us uh, very hard because um, we met his family. Um, yeah, well, I think through pictures, we didn't, we did, I don't remember if we personally met them, but we, we, um, they attended his family, his parents and um, himself attended our 5K Cupcake Run in 2019. And um, I remember their family. I remember them so vividly because I remember seeing their pictures um, 
you know, using the hashtag. And then we, our photographer took pictures of them. Um, just a beautiful family, beautiful smiles. Um, he really was uh, a ray of sunshine, I believe. And uh, so when we heard that he, about a couple of months later, he was diagnosed with cancer. And um, it was, a, it was a, a long, hard fight. And um, he did it all with a smile. And so even the last photos that I remember his mom posting were of him smiling big. And um, so thank you, Rebecca. Thank you for connecting us with Crystal. Um, thank you for um, sharing uh, Reagan with us. We appreciate it and we're thinking of you um, today. So um, it's, it's, it's hard when you um, meet these children and when you meet these families and uh, one day the child's here and the next day they're not. So um, again, make a donation. Um, we are donating uh, for kids fighting cancer in our community. Um, help us get to the next goal. Um, I was actually thinking that um, we could do um, uh, whoever is interested and has donated, I would like a Fiesta Metal to just message us. Um, we will send an email out and if you want a Fiesta Metal, let us know and we'll send one out to you. So. If you have donated today, thank you so much. Um, we want to say thank you and just share our 2020 Fiesta Medal with you. So um, we will send an email out probably tomorrow or um, tomorrow, sometime this weekend, uh, the latest Monday to all of our donors and let them know that um, thank you for donating. And um, we just want to say that, uh, you know, thank you. And uh, we want to give you a gift on behalf of the foundation. So we appreciate that. Um, if you go to our page, you'll see pictures of families smiling with their children. Um, that is what we're all about. Um, all of these pictures were taken uh, during their child's diagnosis and during their battle. And um, that is what we love to see. We love to see families smile uh, in the midst of their most difficult times. I know. That's something that I would always ask a to, to smile, smile, smile. And uh, I would tell her, you got to smile every day. And sometimes it was hard. Sometimes it was tough. Uh, but she smiled every day. And so we always share that story. Um, and that is why we named the foundation Gabriella Smile, because um, if you see her pictures, uh, you will look at her beautiful big smile. And um, she loved life. And she um, enjoyed, um, was looking forward to growing up and uh, one day becoming a boss. That's what she wanted to be. She wanted to be, what kind of boss? I don't know. She just wanted to be a boss. So um, uh, childhood dreams uh, cut short because of childhood cancer. So this, this month, we encourage you to continue helping us raise awareness for childhood cancer. Uh, we always say before we go pink, we go gold. We know that Breast Cancer Awareness Month is in October and that the cancer color is pink. But uh, not many people know that in September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month and the ribbon, the cancer ribbon for that is gold. And we believe that's because children are more precious than gold. And so uh, this month we encourage you to go gold. Um, gold Out SA Day, Gold Out Day is coming up on September 28th. Our um, mayor signed a proclamation once again this year. Thank you, Mayor Ron Nuremberg, for, for doing that for us. We appreciate that. So September 28th, we want to encourage everyone to wear their gold and um, support um, Childhood Cancer Awareness Month uh, this September. Um, and really, there are just a few more ways that you can um, uh, support our... Um, and by the way, most of these um, uh, Cupcake Run SA, uh, Gold Out SA, they all uh, will take you to our website. So... Um, goldoutsa.org. You can get more information on how you can support this month, Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, and our efforts to raise $20,000. Hopefully, we would have raised half of that tonight with the Big Give SA. Um, the other ways that you can support is by uh, attending our Noche de Oro fundraiser. Um, you can also go on our website or go to our Facebook page at Stronger Than DIPG, um, and you'll see, if you see right there at the top, um, uh, I can't see it, but um, yeah, at the top of our, um, right here on our banner, you can see uh, at Stronger Than DIPG, that's our Facebook page and Instagram. Um, you, on our Facebook page, we have our events coming up. Uh, we have a Kendra Scott fundraiser coming up next weekend. 
And then of course the following weekend we have um, Noche de Oro, which is gonna be really, really exciting. We have some special guests joining us, uh, Paulina Chavez from Netflix. Um, yeah, we have Paulina Chavez from Netflix. Um, the Netflix show, The Expanding Universe of Ashley Garcia. Um, if you haven't had a chance to check that out, check it out. It was a great, great show. Paulina did an awesome job starring alongside with Mario Lopez. And those of you that are um, 80s kids will remember Mar Mario Lopez or Mario Lopez um, from Saved by the Bell. So um, he's he's in, 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 in the show um, and um, uh, really, really good, great, uh, great show and uh, we enjoyed it the kids and i watching it so paulina chavez is going to be there for a meet and greet she's going to have some auto signed autograph photos for you all uh we have cleto rodriguez joining us for noche de oro uh, we have Gru grupo folklorico de bendiciones they're going to be there as well doing some performing for us live um and uh we also have uh remember me Remember the time photo booth, I think that's what it's called. So remember the time photo booth, they're gonna be there as well for a couple of hours. So come on out, take your pictures, bring your masks. Um, there's plenty of space at Viola's Ventanas for social distancing. And um, you know, it's wide open space. All we pray is that we have good weather that day and um, we will be there. It's um, your $25 will get you a ticket. Um, for a meal, uh, buffet, and also um, raffle tickets for our Noche de Oro prize extravaganza raffle. We're gonna have tons of, well, not tons of stuff, lots of items out there for you to choose from and um, raffle. So, and, and you know, um, um, to participate in that raffle. So um, lots of stuff coming up this month. We appreciate your support. We appreciate everybody that's donated. Um, we um, just posted something in um, a few hours or earlier at, at six, I believe, just thanking all of our donors um, that have made a donation today. Um, we want to we wanna thank you all for, for helping us and um, supporting us year after year with Big Give SA. Um, I think to date we've raised over, well, with today, what we've raised today, we've raised over um, $30,000 just in Big Give SA um, alone, just in the fundraiser. We've been doing this since 2016. Um, and as, uh, as dad said earlier, we, that was our very first fundraiser. So it's very near and dear to our hearts. We do this every year. Um, thank you to those that give every year faithfully. We appreciate you. And, um, that's why we raised our first, uh, $6,000 that we used to help eight families that, that year, that fall, um, for, um, that had a child diagnosed with DIPG. So, uh, we appreciate that back then we used to do $500 grants. Now we do $750 grants. So, um, we are growing, we're continuing to grow. We're continuing to, um, just as help in any way we can, whether it's, um, whether it's, um, All right. Well, 
Hi, everyone. Uh, sorry about that. Um, now we're using the laptop, so we lost the um, internet on, on our cell phone. So we apologize for that. Um, but again, we just want to say thank you for joining us. Um, I want to bring uh, Cynthia. You want to join us while I work on this? <laughs> hey, Cynthia. Hi. Oh, there you go. Can you hear me? Yes. All righty. Can you see me? Yes. Thank you. Yeah, my um, my phone lost um, signal, so. Um, but thanks for joining us. Yes, thank you so much. I've been enjoying, um, you know, watching the numbers go up and seeing where the stats are. Um, I think it's really encouraging to see everybody vested in um, an organization where local families and really families all across the nation can count on um, when it's just such a dire moment. And um, in order for everybody to come together, we need to bring awareness and we need to keep advocating. So I'm just really thankful to be part of the board, to be part of the mission, and um, also to be part of an organization that values, you know, um, I think it's just, Having the same values really is what I should say. It's just overwhelming to see the the, the support because I know that today, um, not only is it um, a day where everybody comes together to give, I know that there's lots of organizations um, that people can choose from. And the fact that they're choosing Gabriela Smile Foundation, it's really near and dear to my heart. So I'm just really thankful for that. Awesome. There we go. All right, I got my phone back. <laughs> Thanks so much, Cynthia. And look, we're we're both wearing the the A and M colors, huh? <laughs> you already know it. We're always wearing those A and M colors, representing. Well, that's one of my favorite colors. Um, I don't know about A and M, but yeah, I do like the. <laughs> I will not tell Becky that you said that, but yeah, that's why no, I ordered my my color. gold out shirt in in the maroon, and I was I was like, oh, that's so great that we have that option to to go gold, gold yeah. with a little bit of maroon. Yeah, I liked it. I like the the color, but um, that's so true. Um, I am humble too, as well, to see so many people supporting um, our our nonprofit. We were looking at um, we were we were looking through the Big Give uh, website, and um, we didn't see a lot of pediatric cancer foundations on there. We have our friends Jackson Frog Foundation that were there tonight on on the on the site, but. Um, we didn't see a lot of them. And so uh, we know that there are not many of us out there and we appreciate everyone that supported us this far with our mission. And uh, we thank um, our board member, Cynthia. Uh, Natalia was on here earlier, well, on the comments anyways. And um, you know, all of our board members, Sandra, James, Rick, um, Salino, John, um, and everyone for just um, supporting us, what we do and um, you know, helping us raise awareness for, um, for, for the big give and uh, just trying to get some more donations and trying to make a difference and um, in the lives of families. And um, I know that they made a difference in our lives. Um, every family that we meet, I know Cynthia has been um, joined me to meet some families as well. So um, that has been, um, yeah, it's been hard. It's been hard um, to, see families and during their darkest time and uh, but still be able to talk to them and just uh, give them a reason to smile really so um so we want to thank cynthia for for doing that and um, just being so supportive of everything we do and um and also you know D, uh, dj acts you know just supporting our events and coming uh to our our 5k and just you know um, doing something with the talent that you have or that, that God's given him or that, you know, he's been blessed with to support causes like ours. So we appreciate that very much. Yeah, definitely. And yeah. we're appreciative of the opportunities also that you've provided for him. And, you know, it's ironic that you brought him up because I was at work today and I said, you know what, I really need some um, inspiration to get through this day. And uh, mm -hmm. the cupcake mix, which is actually on SoundCloud as his sweet yeah. mix, um, it has the cupcake on it and everything um, that was for the run. It's a it's a really motivating soundtrack. Uh, I'm not a runner by any means, but if I could, that would be the <laughs> that I would that I would run to. 
right? Yeah, yeah, I think so too. Um, same here, same here. I'm not a runner, but I know dad is, you know, Cecilio is. So, um, yeah, I think it's been great. It's it's amazing to see everyone come together for such a great cause. Um, we want to thank, um, let me see, what do we have here? I know in the post um, that I created um, earlier, I listed um, just some of our donors and um, maybe Facebook. Uh, well, anyways, I'm trying to get Facebook on my laptop, but, um, you know, just want to thank everyone that's been, um, fundraising for us and just sharing our post. And, you know, Cynthia, you did an awesome video earlier this week, just encouraging everyone and challenging everyone to, um, was it you that said, you know, to donate your coffee, your cup of coffee? Uh, I did. think Natalia mentioned it. Yeah. Uh, to, to skip the Starbucks and to, yes. to do and I said, skip the drive through and donate. That's true. You know, we've been doing drive through So, yeah, yeah. It's, um, I definitely think that um, we need to do that. So, anyways, if you all um, read uh, some of our posts, go on our Facebook page, you'll see it. we listed a lot of our donors and everyone that's been helping us today. We appreciate it. But we have um, four more hours. So, let's share, share our post, share our um Big Give Essay page and just get everyone to donate before the day's over. Any amount, you know, we, we it doesn't matter to us whether you make a $10 donation or you make a $20 donation or $100. Um, what's important is that we come together as a community to support these families. And uh, really, I would prefer, you know, a thousand ten dollars donations than, you know, just 10, you know, um, than 10, you know, I believe that there's power numbers. So, um, so that's what, um, I, I, uh, want to encourage everyone to don't let, you know, Oh, but it's not, it's not enough or it's not much. You know, I know that's what we always say. It's not much, but here you go. Well, today it's much because right now it's being doubled and, um, and then we're doing it for a great cause. So, you know, my friend, if you can only give 10 or five or, um, or 20, you know, don't, don't think that that's not enough today with everybody coming together. It's more than enough. So, um, keep giving and keep supporting. And thank you, Cynthia, for, for joining us today. Um, I think I'm going to share that song again by Crystal. Um, that was really, really nice. That last one she did. And, um, just want to thank, um, again, um, Rebecca and Crystal for reaching out to us. And we're looking forward because this next week, we're going to have some other special guests and we're going to share our, our book with people and just we're looking forward to doing this the whole month and um, raising awareness and uh, just really going strong with our gold out campaign. We're looking forward to seeing some buildings line up in gold. And um, yeah, we're, we have people working everywhere. There's people sharing. Um, I did hear from Rebecca that um, the credit union RB FCU, I believe, um, <laughs> Uh, they are um, lighting gold. And so uh, so we have another um, cool announcements uh, later this week and about places that are going gold and, and things that you can do. So um, if you have, um, you know, just tell people about gold out and encourage them to wear yellow, wear gold this month um, on Fridays. I know Fridays, most places have like casual day or I, I don't know, um, whatever it is, whatever you can do at work. So and thank you so much, Cynthia. We appreciate you coming on tonight and joining us and just uh, sharing a little bit about um, um, about what how what Gabrielle's smile means to you and, and and supporting. We do have a message here by Ms. Donna. She says, y'all ladies are great, especially Cynthia. <laughs> so she's giving you guys a shout out. Thanks so much, Donna. We appreciate you. And shout out to 210 Culture, right? Yep. Shout out to 210 Culture. Love you, Donna. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks so well, much, thanks Cynthia, for, having for joining me. On, Isabel. Yeah. Thanks for joining me. So that way I'm not talking to myself. Dad's a little busy uh, getting dinner ready. So um, we needed to do this. And um, we're excited that we were able to, um, to share these songs uh, by Crystal and uh, with everyone. So thank you. Well, you it takes a village. A great happy to be part of your village. And there's power in numbers. So Amen. we will definitely right. keep Donna says, yes, love y'all too. So 
Thank you so much, Donna. We appreciate you and we love you. Thank you for ra uh, helping us raise awareness and supporting our, our cause. We, we, we love you guys. All righty. Well, thanks so much, Cynthia. We appreciate it. Have a good night. Bye. Thank you. Bye. All right. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to go back and just share um, uh, another one of um, the, uh, the song that um, Crystal sang at the end uh, before we go. And um, it's still eight o'clock. The day's not over. Please, please continue to donate and um, share um, our post and encourage others to um, to join you in giving today because today's a big give us a so um help us get to our goal so without further ado here's uh, once again crystal with anyone by demi lovato um so i had shared a video um of me singing uh anyone by demi lovato um with isabel and she really uh liked it and so um i am going to uh, sing a little bit um of that for y'all <laughs> To talk to my piano, I try to talk to my guitar, talk to my imagination, confided in to alcohol. I tried and tried and tried some more, told secrets to my voice were sore, tired of empty conversation, cause no one hears me anymore. A hundred million stories and a hundred million songs I feel stupid when I sing nobody's listening to me nobody's listening I talk to shooting stars but they always get it wrong I feel stupid when I pray so why am I praying anyway if nobody's listening anyway
Thank you guys. Um, I get really emotional when I sing that song. Um, to anybody who is currently going through um, childhood cancer with their child, with their loved one, um, I send my heart out to you guys. Um, thank you so much for letting me join you and sending you lots of love. Thank you.